Namaste, this is Franz and I'm going to introduce you how to do the forward bend position or Paschimottanasana as it is known in Sanskrit. Now this is a very difficult pose for many of the people because just bending forward is tremendously difficult. The back doesn't cooperate, the hamstring muscles are short and the bending forward might look quite lousy as well. So I'm going to give you a few simple tricks which are very much doable for everybody how to master this forward bend position or Paschimottanasana. Now this position becomes easy by implying a couple of these tricks. Let me start with the position here. You see, just the forward bend doesn't come natural to most of the people. Bending like this is difficult. Most of the people have a problem even to catch the toes. We want to avoid that. Now, the easiest way is to take some support for your back. This will be a small blanket. You can even bend the mat, or this is good, just a little bit above, right? So you're going to push forward, sit on it. This is it. Now, when I'll be doing this position, the body has to be even not one side down and the other one up and we are starting with the bent knees right because in the beginning the hamstring muscles might be tight and the back not cooperative as well tight this comes due to bodily imbalances because one side of the body might be more up than the other side one side of the body is more even than the other side so when we are trying to bend forward to do any of backward positions we find we find it difficult because the body is just not constructed or evenly placed regarding the muscular and skeletal and nervous system. So in this position, Paschimottanasana, in a forward bend, we will solve these problems. Now, Paschimottanasana is a great position. It's got many great benefits. It's good for your digestive process. It's good for peace of mind, for resting of the heart. It's very curative. It's very therapeutic. However, to extract the most of the benefits out, we really have to know how to do it well. I'm showing you now. We're going to bend the knees and instead of trying with the straight knees, which is difficult to bend, we're going to keep the knees bent and inhalation, we're going to inhale up. So while we inhale up, we interlock the fingers and open the palms upwards. This is important to start, right? Why not just like this? What is wrong with that? So, let me explain you what. Inhalation, when we take up and we interlock the fingers, we actually protectively lock the spine, right? This gesture like this, it actually protects our spine. The muscles embrace the spine. And there's less chances of you getting hurt. The vertebrae be pulled out or the disc coming out of the vertebrae. Now, Inhalation, we come up and we throw the head to the back. And then the moment we go down with a deep exhalation, we throw the head down. That process of throwing the head down is important. We should never keep the head back up. This is wrong because the moment you keep the head back, so you're pulling the muscles away from the lower back, you're straining them here and you have less capacity to bend forward. By keeping the head down, by keeping the head down, your flexibility, your bending power increases, right? So here, once again, inhalation, we come up, interlock the fingers. And exhalation, we head down, head down, and drop down. Then we hold our toes, that's easy. So we are also not keeping the elbows inside. Rather, we are keeping the elbows in the letter O. That should be a letter O like this. This is important. Why? So, to keep the chest pressed down. So, if we are pressing the elbows down, the chest is suppressed. The breathing capacity is less. And the bending forward power decreases instead of increasing. So, inhale again, we are breathing again, with the head down. This is the natural position. We can rest, then the chest, the, the bust, the chest, 
onto our tights here. This is easy. Every breath, let's say 15 breaths. We are deeply breathing. Inhale, exhale. Once we finish 15 breaths, we again interlock the fingers, right? So now the back is strained, the spine is strained, and to come up, we need to interlock the fingers to protect the spine. Then inhalation takes us up. And here, coming up, coming up, we're drawing the head up. That helps us to come up. And throw the head in the back. And exhale. So when we are attempting the second round, we can perhaps move the knees slightly more down. Now, in the second round, perhaps we're going to be more flexible already. So we can play with going with, uh, we can play by going with knees a bit more down, but not too much. Just maybe slight decrease from the first time. Okay? And again, inhale, we come out, throw the head back, interlock. Yeah, this is good. The lock is here. And exhale, down, down, down. Then we hold the big toes with the middle index and the thumb, the three fingers. Open the elbows, right? Tuck the head inside. This is good. It will, um, how to say, be smooth on your lower back. Open the letter O and breathe, exactly. Now, after we finish, we interlock the fingers again, stretch the arms. This is a lock. The spine feels protected here. And inhale, we come up, and then we throw the head in the back in the opposite direction. And exhale down. Second round, we can do perhaps 10 breaths instead of 15. So the third round, we will try to achieve the optimized position, the maximal uh, position in Paschimottanasana, the forward bend. So we are starting pretty much the same, the same knee bend, um, then in the second uh, round, and we go inhalation up, interlock the fingers, exhalation down. Drop the head down forward, and we hold the toes here, keeping the elbows on a letter O, and we breathe one. We breathe two and two exhalation. We move the knees down, fully press them down against the ground. There should be as little space as possible here. So instead of pushing the upper portion of body down that will bend the knees again, we are keeping it up and the lower side of the knees, the back side of the knees, we are pushing down. We are not forcing the upper portion of the back to go down, but rather just the back of the knees we are forcing down and the upper portion of the body is actually relaxed, just hanging there. Let's go here, we breathe. Now, interlock the fingers. And inhale, come up. Inhale, inhale, and throw the head back here behind. Exhalation down. So these are the three stages of mastering forward bend or Paschimottanasana. This is easy. I think I've been seeing a lot of people who have problem in being good in Paschimottanasana, even if they feel or even if they do a lot of advanced and challenging positions, somehow I'm seeing there's just not comfort in the Paschimottanasana forward bend. And this is because of the erroneous doing. So we have to do it right. Bend it and prepare your muscles and ligaments for the deeper forward bend. In first stage, second stage and third stage. In that way, you'll master Paschimottanasana and attain satisfaction and peace in mind. Thank you. That's for today. And next time I shall see you with the next video. Namaste.